Hi, I'm Lee. And I'm Morten. And we're LEGO Designers. In this video, we will demonstrate how to add animations to your hub. We will also demonstrate how to make your own animations. Let's begin by looking at this code, which displays a simple blinking animation on your hub. The first block after the start block sets the orientation of the animation, so it's displayed at the right angle on Charlie's face. Next block is the start animation block. If you click on the animation, you bring up a short list of other animations you can choose to display. This list might only have one or two animations to choose from, but you can add more animations to the list by going into the animation library. Let's select another Charlie animation. Today I'll select Cool. Now you enter the animation editor. Here you can see how the Cool animation is created and you can even edit it. But for now, just press the check mark to put it in the animations list. The Cool animation is now selected. Press play to give it a go. Looking good, well done. Now I will show you how to make your own animations. First go into the animation block and select the animation editor. Here you can see the last animation you selected, which you can edit in any way you want. However, we want to create our own animation, so click the little plus icon in the top right corner. Now you can create a new animation. Let's create a firework animation. You create your animation frame by frame. You can add more frames by clicking the plus in the timeline here. I will begin by making a little pixel rocket that takes off. You simply draw each frame pixel by pixel. Let's try to preview the animation by pressing the play button. As you can see in this preview, the animation is a bit slow. You can make it faster by increasing the FPS slider down here. You can also choose to loop the animation here. Okay, this is a good rocket speed. Now I will add another frame to begin creating the explosion. As you can see, the new frame is always a copy of the previous frame. This way I can create the explosion by continuously adding to the last created frame. Notice that you can choose different levels of light intensity to make your animation more dynamic. That's four frames of animation. Lastly, I will just add a blank frame at the end using this button here. Okay, let's preview the animation. Looking good! When you're done, remember to name your animation up here and press the check mark to save it. Let's press play and see how it looks on Charlie. Looking great! Remember the animation editor has a few more options to play with. You can always choose the animations we have made to see how they are created and what tricks we have used. Have fun! Thank you for watching!